Bloom hires private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready. Ask, and ye shall receive. system today. PR Director Charlotte Gardner has gone on record saying that a failed data leak attempt this morning is proof that the corporation is more secure than ever. when I say we're done. Go away. I'll show you. <gasps> I thought I was dead. Slow down. Yeah, you <laughs>
Hey! No! No! Butchering Quinn's men? Ow! Puñeta. Shit, shit, shit. Ah! Jesus, no. since implementing the first CTOS station and one year of citywide operations. When planning for CTOS, Bloom insisted its innovative network would save Chicagoans over $800 per household. Well, after a full year of operation, the numbers are in. Over the past 12 months, Chicago households have saved an average of $350. Bloom points out that while less than half the original estimate, this still reflects a savings for all families thanks to CTOS.
anybody's fucking Ray Candy story. In one woman's case, it really was a fucking Ray Candy story. And that's an ugly one. I about lost it the first couple of weeks until I realized something. Ray had it all figured out. With his hands in the guts of the CTOS, he began to see the real sinister potential of the thing he built. How do I know this? Because the ghost of Ray Kenny still haunts the data. He knew it would take another engineer. Christ! What the hell is your problem? You oh. Sucks. 